Um, my name is Maria Berrio and uh, I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia and I live in Brooklyn, New York and this is my piece uh, CCG and um, this is the piece that was acquired by the National Museum. Uh, CCG depicts an interior where three characters are apparently in the process of assembling a fourth character, a human-bird hybrid. A seated woman plucks feathers from a bird pitched atop her hand, while another seems to be placing those same feathers into the wing of the hybrid. To the right of the hybrid, a fourth figure mirrors the position of the woman inserting the feathers, instead bracing the hybrid's shoulder and holding his hand. Above the seated woman is some sort of shrine, in where a small jaguar has curled up and besides the shrine are two framed posters of what may be a morbid instruction manual for the scene depicted. Paper dolls show arms being removed from women, wounds being removed from birds, and then combined to form a creature like a hybrid below. A scenery vine wraps itself past these posters and around the shrine. Much of these vines straddle the floor and twine around some of the other furniture depicted in the piece. Death's tendrils likewise twist throughout the work. The walls themselves are a riot of colorful deterioration, a decaying sunset. A dead bird sprawls out on a stool while two others hang from a nail in the wall. The jaguar perched in the shrine an alert sheet below, a meat grinder affixed to a table, all hint the violence vi babbling below. There is in this beautiful a dark sinister element to the work. Yet this is ultim ultimately a painting about hope and redemption. The first indication of such theme is literally spelled out on the instruction poster, which reads Como ser libre how to be free. CCG is a preparation for a journey, the germination of the seeds. The migrant must forego a great deal as the known world re resides into the past. So to do the things that define and make one human. An essential part of oneself must be removed to be free. There is so much to give up. Perhaps Death tendrils again make their appearance here, for what is a greater and more difficult transition than death? What could be a truer path to freedom in many religious no notions than the soul's winged migration from the body?